But what do you know? Harbor Freight's having a sale. Everything must go. Well, it's been a while since I made a tool video, so I figured I'll bring you guys along, show you what I just got recently. All right, first up from Gear Wrench, we got this 10-piece uh, metric six-point flexible socket set. Uh, let's see, what do we got in here? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 10 through 19, they don't skip any sizes, and this works on a 3 8 inch drive. Where was it made? Uh, made in Taiwan. Let's get it open. All right, and as you can see, that's what they look like out of the package. Looks like a nice chrome finish. I got lots of gear wrench sockets, and uh, these look uh, well, well made, um, just like the other ones I have. Uh, these are six point all the way through, and uh, they have what gear wrench calls a surface drive. Just means they don't put too much pressure on the corner of the fasteners. Uh, it comes with a nice little three eighths inch uh, blue socket rail here. Well, let's, let's check out the fourteen. It's not too loose, which is nice. There's nothing worse than just your universal joint is just all floppy. You try to put the put it in there on the on the bolt and then it just whoop. So that's good. Let's see how it compares using a universal joint with a socket on there. Alright, so I got the uh, the 14 here, and then I have a gear wrench, 3 8 inch, 14 millimeter socket, and then I have a universal here. This is also from Gear Wrench, and let's see the size difference. That's a that's a decent amount of size difference there. You can see there. That'll definitely help you get into uh, tight spaces, especially doing timing belts, things like that inside the engine. Uh, let's see, and of course I have a Pittsburgh one here from Harbor Freight Universal, and you can see there it's. The whole thing is about the size of just the joint here, not including the socket. So definitely saves you quite a bit of space. All right, up next, as you can see, I went to everybody's favorite Harbor Freight and uh, bought a battery-operated liquid transfer pump. Uh, this is a part number 63847, good for uh, gas, water, oil, non-corrosive liquids. Uh, let's see, basically, yeah, you just put this down into the fluid. And uh, you can pump it out. It's got an on-off switch, works on 2D batteries, and uh, like most of the stuff made in uh, China. And uh, right now, um, I'll go ahead and insert some some video that I shot. I bought this to go over to my in-laws and help them help them out. Um, they got an old vehicle that uh, started leaking gas, and so I went over there and. Uh, basically cleaned it up for him and I used this to do it. So I'll, I'll go ahead and insert the um, video right here of me using this. All right, on location, took it out of the box. I put two D batteries in there. I'm just gonna take some gas, transfer it from here to here. See how it works. Oh, that's nice. That works good. Quiet too. All right, uh, the whole reason I'm doing this is this uh, fuel was leaking out of this uh, gas tank. This is a 1928 Ford, so a uh, classic vehicle here. So I'm just going to see if this thing will suck it out of the tank now. Ah, perfect. This thing works really nice. Check it out. This thing's pretty sweet. 1928 Ford. Father-in-law built it all himself. Yep. <laughs> well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed um, watching me use it instead of pulling it out of the box here. I'm going to leave it in because it's still it's full of gas from me using it. So I don't feel like getting gas all over my hands right at the moment. Um, as you can see, it's quiet and it works pretty darn well. I had no issues with this and I only paid like seven bucks for it. So even if I only used it one time, I got my seven dollars uh, worth out of it. Uh, it's a shame that, uh, that that hot rod, that 1928 Ford, just sits around now. But unfortunately, my in-laws are to the age where they can't drive it anymore, so it just sits. And so this is the type of stuff that happens 
you know, they start leaking fuel and other stuff, and I got to go over them and help them. But hopefully that thing will uh, see better days and be running again. All right, up next from Titan, I got some uh, Torx bit sockets, as you can see. Uh, I already threw the packaging away. I wasn't planning on making a video when I grabbed these. Um, I picked them up at uh, AutoZone. Uh, it's a nine piece and made in China, of course. But I wanted a set that had all three eighths uh, inch. And this set does. Um, they're not easy to find. Harbor Freight used to have some, but uh, I, I, at least at my Harbor Freight, they didn't have them. The only ones they had were security ones, which are not quite as strong because they got the hole in the top. But. Uh, comes with T10 all the way to T50 and uh, I think it can, it doesn't come with a 47 but it covers most other sizes it does have a 27 there um, but the one I use all the time is a 30 a T30 and I like having it in a 3 8 inch um, these are just cheap ones I know um, if you use pretty much any Torx bits you're gonna bend them and break them uh, that's just uh, how it goes but I definitely wanted a 3 8 inch set that I could use with a 3 8 ratchet. Let me show you what they look like uh, or why I bought them. Now I have this set from uh, Capri, Capri Tools. Uh, I'll put a link. I don't know what the model number is because I don't have the um, box right here. But uh, you can see that all these up here, although it's a great selection, these are all quarter inch. So like the T30 right here is a quarter inch. And like I said, I like to use the T30 a lot. And um, I want, you know, I want it in a three, three eighths inch version instead of a quarter inch. Um, the smallest three eighths that this set comes in is a T40. And so all these right here, 30, 27, 25, 20, 15, 8, and 10, they're all quarter inch. And so basically from, from 10 to 30 now, I'm going to have a three eighths inch set. Yeah, I know it's a throw down set and I'll probably bend them and break them up, but I only paid like 10 bucks for them, so not going to lose any sleep over it. All right, just for comparison's sake, I have a Husky T45 here. Um, this one is uh, made in the USA. Can you see that? Back when Husky was made in the USA. Let's see what it uh, looks like compared to the T45 on this Chinese set. You can see the Husky is just a, it's just a fraction taller, if you can tell. Just a hair taller, not by much. But the Husky is definitely fatter and beefier. Husky definitely, this USA made one, definitely feels like better quality. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, these, everything, the whole thing is made out of uh, chrome vanadium. So it's not, these are not made out of S2 steel as far as I know. They're uh, CRV. And speaking of bending and breaking um, Torx bits, if you've watched my tool videos be um, before, you know I already bought a set of these 3 8 inch Nico um, long Torx bits. Um, and they work really well. Uh, let me show you what happened to my T30. Alright, here's my other set. And you can see well, maybe you can't see, but if you could, you could see that I twisted the heck out of that. But I am not complaining. I was really going to town with this thing. And, you know, being as long as it is, and I had my long 3 8 inch ratchet, and I was basically taking off a bolt that was not designed to be taken off the vehicle. It was supposed to be left there, but I was determined to get it off. And uh, I won, by the way, but it did cost me this T30 bit. So I liked it so much, and obviously I use it a lot. I went ahead and bought the whole kit again just so I could get that T30. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I'll have to open this up and see what the warranty is. I don't think it's very good, but the, um, from what I saw, these are made out of S2 steel. Uh, I wasn't complaining at all because I went way beyond what these things are designed for. Well, I looked all over the box, inside, inside. I don't see anywhere where it talks about a warranty, so I'm guessing you got like a 30-day warranty from Amazon and that's about it but I'm not complaining because they work well oh the new one all nice fancy Nico printing on the new one all right and up next more gear wrench this is going to be the the little brother to the 3 8 inch set I bought 
This is the 12 piece metric 6 point flex socket set, part number 80311. Uh, let's see, this is made, made in Taiwan. Uh, 5 all the way up to 15 millimeter, and it doesn't skip any sizes. And in fact, it includes a 5.5 also. Let's get this thing open. All right, just like the other ones, nice chrome finish. All six point sockets all the way through, and uh, comes on a nice, nice blue rail matches the other one. Uh, let's see. Let's let's grab the ten. Yeah, once again, just like the other ones, they're not all floppy and loose. Now they may get that way, but at least from the right from the box, they're not that way. And uh, well, they pretty much look like the other ones, just smaller. All right, and as you can see, there's the uh, new set. And there's a gear wrench universal by itself. You can see they're almost the same height. So when you put a socket on there, this is also a gear wrench 10 millimeter. You can see the difference in length, about a, I'd say about a half an inch almost. And compared to the old Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pro, you can see quite a bit, almost the whole length of the socket there. There's what the rails look like next to each other if you're curious about the size difference. Almost the same length. It's a little bit of difference. Alright, up next from Performance Tool, I got this heavy duty pistol grip grease gun. Let's see, part number Whiskey 54291. Uh, where was it made? Lifetime warranty. Uh, let's see here. Come on, where are you made at? Oh. Really small letters, made in China. Let's see what we got here. Extremely lightweight aluminum barrel, heavy duty die cast T-handle, internal spring, zinc plated pistol grip, PVC grips for comfort, texture rubber non-slip grip, removable end cap with positive tab lock, three-way loading. Uh, it's got a 12 inch and a five and a half inch rigid hose. The 12 inch is flexible. And it's triple reinforced hose with anti-kinking. Wow, sounds pretty darn fancy. Uh, my Harbor Freight one bit the dust, so I went ahead and got this. I got this at uh, AutoZone. Now let's get it out, see what it looks like. All right, and as you can see, this is what it looks like out of the box. Um, definitely feels well made. Feels like they, uh, they definitely tried their best to make this a decent tool. Time will tell, we'll see if it's any good. Uh, it's nice to have a pistol grip so you can hold the hose and put it on there. As you can see, it comes with a little 5 inch uh, fixed and then it comes with the uh, 12 inch flexible that's reinforced, which is kind of nice. So I'm not going to put it together now, but uh, if I got something to grease in a video, I'll definitely use it in a video. And we got some more gear wrench here. This is going to be a 12 piece metric hex bit socket set. And as you can see, that's what it looks like there. And these are all 3 8 inch drive, just like I, just like my other set. I definitely like 3 8 inch drive. And let's see. Looks like we got two all the way to 12, including a 2.5 millimeter. So uh, pretty good selection there. Doesn't look like it skips any sizes. Uh, where's this one made? Made in Taiwan also. Right, let's get it open. And then you can see what they look like. Nice chrome sockets. Uh, comes in a nice or a nice blue socket rail just like the other gear wrench stuff so they kind of all match um, they look pretty well built they look and if they're like other gear wrench stuff that I have that made in Taiwan I have no problem with the quality um, I definitely use five and six millimeter a lot and so I wanted to have a 3 8 inch version in those and just as a comparison I got my Capri set here and uh, this is the hex set. So I have the Torx and the hex set. This is a great set, has lots of different sizes. Um, but one of the things I like to use the five and the six millimeter, I like to use three eighths inch. And so that's the only reason I bought that is those couple sizes right there. I definitely like it. But you can see the two all the way to the six are all quarter inch on this set. And then um, from the seven on are gonna be uh, the three eighths. So just as a comparison, where's the 7 on here? 
see the difference. They look pretty much identical. The Capri might be just a hair taller, but not by much. Everything looks very comparable on that, on the 7. Let's go to the 6, though. And you can see, obviously, the quarter inch is going to be a lot smaller. So it's nice if you need to get in tight spots. Definitely nice to have a smaller one, but if you got a really stubborn fastener that's on there tight, you're probably going to want a 3 8 so that you can put a longer ratchet on there. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this little tool haul. And as always, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.